All right, the draw for Wimbledon has just come out. We're gonna go through the ladies' draw to start us off because, man, there are some crazy sections of the draw. But let's start with the players who pulled out of Wimbledon for 2023. All right, so only a couple of withdrawals from Wimbledon. We've got Halep taking, obviously, getting suspended, so she is not playing. Anissa Moba also pulling out. Rodokanu recovering from surgery. Van Udvank also out. Tomanovic is also out. And Kalen Skyer also out injured from the events. Okay, let's get to the top section of the draw. So there are 32 seeds in this one. Nobody gets a buy in the first round because it is a grand slam. And Iga Sviantek, number one seed. She takes on Zoo in the first round. Winner of that will take on either the Trevison or Tormo in the second round. Parry will take on Dart. Winner of that will take on either Fruvitova or the 30th seed Martic in the second round. Then you've got... 23rd seed, Lynette, taking on Teichman. Fun first round. Winner of that will take on either Strykova or uh, Zanevska in the second round. Then you've got Collins taking on Grabber. Winner of that will take on either Swan or the number 14 seed, Bencic, in the second round. Nice draw for Sviantek. I mean, the biggest threats probably are Martic and maybe Bencic because their styles on grass uh, can be very effective. But i got to be honest, Sviantek fans should be happy. Zoo will be an interesting test, but after that, if she can avoid a couple of those names, she has a very likely chance making it further at Wimbledon than ever before. Then you've got Kazakina, the number 11 seed, taking on Dolhide. Winner of that will take on either Burridge or McNally in the second round. Then you got Podoroska taking on Martin Kova. Winner of that would take on either Yuan or the number 19 seed, Azarenka. Then you've got the number 28 seed, Mertens, taking on the qualifier, Runka Kova. I'm sure I pronounced that right. A winner of that will take on one of the best first round matches going around. Venus Williams is taking on Alina Svetolina. Both the wild cards. Such a fun first round. Such a shame that it has to be in a first round. But man, some good, uh, very accomplished Wimbledon players there. Uh, then you've got Hunter taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on another banger first round between Kennan and the number seven seed, Coco Goff. That is a nightmare for Goff. But that section's interesting. You know, Kazakina's doing okay this week. Goff is also playing well this week. Venus is obviously proven at this, uh, at slams. Uh, and at Wimbledon in particular, as a ranker slam champion, so is Kennan. Uh, so this is an interesting little section here. And of course, this section of the draw could be taking each other on the quarterfinals. So we could be getting Sviantek taking on Goff in the quarterfinals. Or if we're going to go by form, more like Sviantek taking on uh, maybe Kazakhin. I mean, Goff's in form, but maybe in terms of better matchups. But then again... Both those players have struggled against Fiontech. Maybe the grass will be different. All right, next section of the draw, you've got Pagula, the number four seed. She's taking on Davis in the first round. Winner of that will take on either Buxa or Rakamova in the second round. Then you've got Osorio taking on Chokioretto. Winner of that will take on either Masarova or the 31st seed Sharif in the second round. Then you've got the 24th seed Zhang taking on Siniakova. Winner of that will take on either Sharenko or Lu in the second round. Then you've got Parks taking on Friedsum. Winner of that will take on either Bogdan or the 15th seed Samsonova in the second round. And like I said during the preview, this is like the injury draw uh, section of the draw because you've got players like Pagula who are injured. And when we get down the, down the list a little bit more, there are more players that are injured. Masarova's another one in there. But Samsonova has got to be liking that draw. She's playing all right this week. As long as she doesn't overplay this week, I think she'll probably like her chances. And Pagula's got a real tough section. Then we've got Kunamatova, number 12 seed, taking on Kanepi. Winner of that will take on either Von Drusova or Stearns in the second round. Very tough start for Kunamatova. Then you've got Stevens taking on Pedersen. Winner of that will take on either Song or the number 20 seed, Vekic, in the second round. Then you've got the 32 seed, Buskova, taking on Waltert, the qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Contivate or Stefani in the second round. Contivate's final tournament as well. Uh, remember, she is retiring after this. Then you got Bandle taking on Fernandez. Winner of that will take on either Volley Nets or the number five seed, Garcia. Garcia, Kudamatova, both injured. Vekic in form. Von Drusova, a nightmare. Fernandez could be a nightmare. Um, Contivate's final tournament. Maybe she's inspired. But uh, very interesting section of the draw, this entire section of the draw. And then this section of the draw will take on will take on each other in the quarterfinal. So you can see there, Garcia, Pagula could be a quarterfinal, but they're both under injury clouds. We could be getting Samson over Kudamatova if you want to go by the more informed players. But uh, man, this section is wild, and we could get a random player out of this section. Next section of the draw, we've got Jabur, the number six seed, taking on Freya. Winner of that will take on either Bonaventure or Bay, the qualifier in the second round. Then we've got Bondaire taking on Drescu. Winner of that will take on either the qualifier Monero or Kalanina, the 26th seed, in the second round. Then you've got the 18th seed Pushkova taking on Stefanovic. Winner of that will take on either Zoe or Korpach in the second round. Then you've got Sastovic taking on Diaz. Winner of that will take on either Paolini or the number nine seed Kvitova in the second round. I mean, look, Jabur, defending finalist. I mean, Kalanina's not easy. Andrescu's not easy. Pliskova, Kvitova are definitely not easy, especially at Wimbledon. Very tricky draw for Andrescu. Then you've got the next section, 
Hadaj Maya, the 13th seed, taking on Putin Seva. Very fun first round matchup. Uh, winner of that will take on either Christian or Bronzetti, who just made a final based uh, because of Sviantek withdrawing this week. So she's into a final this week, so she's in form. Then you've got Kostea taking on Maria. Winner of that will take on either Minin or the number 17 seed, Ostapenko, in the second round. Then you've got the 27 seed, Pera, taking on Tomova. Winner of that will take on either Bolta or Saville. Very tough uh, first round match there as well. Then you've got Kovinich taking on Cornet. Winner of that will take on either Rogers or the number three seed, Rabakina. Rabakina's got the nightmare. I mean, she, out of all the seeds in the top eight, she has the worst draw. Rogers is a nightmare. Cornet's a nightmare. Uh, Bolter's in form could be a nightmare. Hadajmaier, Ostapenko are a nightmare. Uh, and of course, this section of the draw will take on the Jabur section. So you've got Rabakina, Jabur in a quarterfinal, but I don't think we're going to get that. I, I don't know if we're going to get that. We've got Kvitova could be in that place against Rabakina. Or it could be Ostapenko Kvitova, if you want to go something a little different. And the bottom sections of the draw, you've got the number eight seed, Zachary, taking on Kostruk. Winner of that will take on either Risk or Bedosa, which is a fun first round, but Bedosa's still with a big injury cloud. Uh, then you've got Golovic taking on Schmidlova. Winner of that will take on either Cartel or Keys, the 25 seed, second round. Then you've got the 22nd seed, Potapova, taking on Naf. Uh, winner of that will take on either Yuvan or Batova in the second round. Then you've got the qualifier, Andreva, of course. Mira Andreva. The, the teenage superstar taking on Wong. Winner of that will take on either Watson or the number 10 seed, Krajikova. So this is an interesting section. Potapova, Krajikova, Zachary, and Keys all could make it past uh, the, the, make it to the quarterfinals. Or we could be getting uh, Andreva or someone, you know, maybe Bedosa comes good or Kostya. I mean, there's a lot of maybe maybes in this section, right? We, we could be getting anyone out of this section. Final section of the draw, you got Mukova, the 16th seed and French Open finalist. Taking on Niemeyer in the first round. Very tough first round. Winner will take on either Nuskova or Gelfi in the second round. Then you got Brengel taking on Arani. Winner of that will take on either Navarro or the 21 seed Alexandrova in the second round. Then you've got the 29 seed Pagu taking on Marino. Winner of that will take on either Wickmeyer or Blinkova. Then you've got Grucheva taking on Georgie. Winner of that will take on either Udvardi or the number two seed Sabalenka. And Sabalenka Georgie could be a second round. That is an absolute blockbuster if it happens. But look, Mukova hasn't played. Hard to say how she'll go. Uh, Alexandrova's been informed though on grass, so interested to see her. Same with Georgie. Of course, Sabalenka, you know, almost made the final here a couple years ago. Uh, so very fun section. Of course, this section will take on the Sakari section. So we could be getting Sabalenka Sakari. We could be getting Sabalenka Krajikova. We could be getting Sabalenka Keys. If you want to go with something a little outside the box, I have no idea what's going to happen. But who's going to win Wimbledon? Who's going to win Wimbledon after all of that chat? I'm still back in Sabalenka. I'm still back in Sabalenka. I think Sabalenka, if she avoids Georgie in the second round, I think she's got a good enough draw. She can get revenge over. Mukaba, I think she might be able to do something and maybe avoid Rebecca in, in the semis. But uh, I'm going to go with Sabalenka. I'm a little bit more confident with her. But hey, let me know. Who do you think is going to win Wimbledon for the women this year?